So you tell me, if there were one thing that would cause you to have fewer doctor visits, feel better about your life, generally just feel better, and something that would reduce anxiety and even depression, if there were one thing that could do all of those things, would you do it? Science has been very, very clear that there is one thing that can bring about all of those positive results for you, and that thing is gratitude. Gratitude comes from the Latin word gratia. Gratia meaning grace. Now, when we think about that, oftentimes that has a religious connotation. And I want to really focus on that because it is absolutely true. What we have watched, what we've witnessed since 1950 moving forward is a gradual and then a rapid decrease in people's belief in God, in people's belief or association of any type of religion at all. And when we lose that, when we lose that single element, we've also lost everything that comes with it. And there's a great deal that comes with that, that is positive for life, positive for everyone. But we've somehow, some way decided that's no longer works, that's no longer valid, that's no longer good for me, science doesn't prove it, etc., etc., etc. All of those things have come down upon us now, and we are living in the shadow of that denial of the existence of, of, of kind and loving Heavenly Father that gives us grace and gives us a purpose and a reason to be grateful. And when we look at psychology today, psychology in many ways has taken the place of what religion used to do naturally, what families used to do naturally, what parents, moms, dads, grandparents used to promote in the home. Now we have psychology taking its place. People have a natural need to be taken care of. We have a natural need for all of the things that, that faith and religion would do for us to be done, human nature has not lost its need for those things. We just seem to have pushed further and further away this sense of God that provides us moral rules. Now, we tend to like the fact of all of the positives that come from that. When scholars talk about all of the good things that can come from, from mindfulness training, all of the good things that can come from strong psychological practice, those are very much in alignment with what naturally comes from people who are people of faith, which is a great thing. I'm glad that people have those opportunities. What we tend to not like about religion are the rules that come along with it, the moral sense that comes along with it. It doesn't take long, however, to look at society today and say, could we use a little bit more moral fiber? Could we use just a little bit more character? Could we use just a little bit more integrity? These are all things that come from a sense of faith or a sense of religion that we have now just culturally dismissed. It's no longer relevant. To focus back now on this one element that can have so many positive benefits in your life and that of gratitude. When we think of gratitude, when we think of being grateful, when we think about counting our blessings, those are all things that if we do that, and we do it on a regular basis, and we see life as a blessing, we see all of life as a blessing. Just yesterday, I listened to a father talk about the blessing that his son was to so many others as he was dying of cancer. The faith that accompanied that, the, the warmth, the genuineness that I felt as this this father tenderly related the experiences of his son and his son's understanding of his purpose here on this earth, even though it was for a very short time. Gratitude is something that must be cultivated. Gratitude is something that must be born internal. We have to have it deep within. We can, we can engage in it intellectually. We can engage in it mentally, but we have to believe in it from within. To do that oftentimes takes a great deal of practice and a great deal of discipline. To become truly grateful, it must have a basis. Because gratitude can be, 
for those things tangible and intangible. As we talk about the private experience, I want to focus on our intangibles, those things that are born within. How do we cultivate gratitude? How do you cultivate this sense of, I am grateful for all that I have? For me personally, I'm grateful for every single day. I'm grateful for every single opportunity, positive or negative. Now it's harder for me to be grateful for the negatives. And when I really explore the negatives, oftentimes the negatives are things that I have brought about myself. I'm grateful for the opportunity to learn from those things. I'm grateful for the opportunity to learn from all things. Last week, one of my clients let me know of their dissatisfaction of a particular aspect of something that we had produced for them. I was grateful for that. Why was I grateful? Well, number one, I don't want somebody thinking something that is negative and not sharing it with me because we can't do anything about it. We can't improve it. I became very grateful for that though in a very real way because it allowed me to be able to use that with the people that actually did that work and improve the process. I was grateful for the feedback. I was grateful for the negative experience. Even though we don't tend to be grateful for those things or in the, in the immediate moment, I was grateful for it. The sooner I get there, the sooner I can move on. So often, a sense of ingratitude or a sense of bitterness will allow us to stay in that bitter moment and won't allow us to move forward. Moving forward is the best thing we can possibly do. We want to do it realistically. We want to do it after examination, after we truly understand. We don't want to move forward too quickly and just miss out everything that we should have gained internally with us in the private experience. We want to be able to have gratitude for all that we have possessed and then be able to move forward with that. Gratitude is a simple concept. Gratitude is a difficult action. Physiologically in the body, when we express gratitude, we release dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine and serotonin are chemicals that are responsible in our brains for helping us to feel better, helping us to be able to better cope with life. That's really what it's all about. Pain is inevitable. Pain will always come. Sorrow must be cultivated, just as joy must be cultivated. We're more likely to live in joy when we can express and cultivate gratitude within. When we feel true gratitude for our lives, true gratitude for all of our experience, even the private experiences that we have, we're far more likely to produce that serotonin, produce that dopamine that will allow us to better be able to cope with anything that comes our way. When we truly get into a sense of gratitude, and we can become grateful for all things that come our way, positive, negative, indifferent, doesn't matter. When we can be grateful for all things, we tend to live a more joyful experience. It doesn't mean we're always going to be happy. It doesn't mean that things are always going to be good. There's a wonderful scripture that talks about living in Thanksgiving daily. And it's living in Thanksgiving daily for the blessings and the mercies that are extended upon us. That is a wonderful way to live. You know, becoming grateful for all experiences, you know, those, those negative experiences as well as those positive experiences is a very mature way of becoming. It's a, it's a very mature way of experiencing life. It's not easy. It takes a lot of discipline, a lot of restraint to not get angry. It takes a lot of restraint to look at a situation and say, you know what, this is for my good. I may not understand it, but it is for my good and I'm grateful that it's happening. I want your private experience to be so wonderful, so fantastic, that you live in a sense of gratitude, that you are grateful for all experiences that you have because you know that all of those things will be ultimately for your good. Do all you can this week to cultivate a sense of gratitude because as you cultivate that private sense of gratitude in your private experience, it will spill out in every other experience of your life. Thank you for joining me on the Primacy Podcast. I am grateful for you being here always. And thank you for sharing these things with others that you know will benefit from the message. Take care. I'll see you next time.